Following California's recent historic heat wave, thousands of people in our county reported losing power, and that led to a number of issues, including spoiled food. Some of you may have wondered, does SDG&E bear any responsibility? CBS 8's Shannon Handy is working for you to get that answer. Last week, people in this La Jolla neighborhood lost power for more than 24 hours, resulting in a lot of food having to be thrown out. Some wondered if it could be reimbursed. We looked into it. It turns out you can, but not in all cases. This is what Maria Bolivar's fridge and freezer looked like prior to last Monday's outage following a recent trip to Costco, but not anymore. The freezer, you can see it's all empty with the exception of something I just got. On Labor Day, Maria and her neighbors lost power for 28 hours, not wanting their food to go to waste. They salvaged what they could and organized a last minute potluck in the courtyard. Everything else had to be thrown away. It was really painful for me to, you know, just grab the stuff and put it away. There were lots of extra flies and stuff because everybody put their food out. Maria estimates she lost $100 worth of food. She posted about it on Nextdoor, which opened up a conversation about whether or not stg &E reimburses people in scenarios like this. So I did some research and found out they do, but only in certain situations. On the stg &E website, there's a page regarding claims which states, if you've suffered a loss or damage due to service interruption and believe we may be responsible, you can submit a claim. Those claims can be related to property damage, bodily injury, business interruption, food loss and spoilage. When it comes to food loss and spoilage, you must provide an itemized list as well as receipts or documentation verifying purchase. Also, food loss claims are based on guidelines from the U.S. Department of Agriculture, which states a fully stocked freezer will usually keep food frozen for two days after losing power. A half full freezer will usually keep contents frozen for about one day. In the refrigerator, food will usually keep up to four hours depending on the temperature of the room. Adding to that, a spokesperson for stg &E told us, stg &E is not liable for circumstances beyond our control, including weather conditions that lead to power outages. We investigate all claims in an objective and professional manner. Each claim is evaluated based on its own merits and the outcome of our investigation. In Maria's case, stg &E says the cause of the outage is under investigation. She likely won't submit a claim, but says it's good to know in case something like this happens again. I'm not going to do it this time because it's like so rare that this happens. But if it's going to happen, yeah, they're going to have to provide for something like that. Shannon Handy, CBS 8.